What's good, y'all? So what's happening right now is I'm returning my older car. I've only had it for like seven months to get the newer version of it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna take you guys with us to the process. So we're picking up this, but a four door right here, which just looks nice. I wouldn't have got an Infinity if it wasn't for him, to be honest. I ain't know shit about Infinity. It's like, it's a good car. St. Peter's just make the GT. Nah, you just couldn't, you couldn't make a decision. Oh, what, what, what would you rather me got back then, then? Oh, I don't know. We, we, you and me both got different tastes. We're not different tastes, we're different priorities. Like we SUV? SUV? Trying to get in that garage? Hell nah. That's the last thing I want. But I'm liking how the two doors looking. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, yeah, the two door, the look of the two door, you can't compete. But their priorities, you need, you know, you know, you need space. Do I really though? Kevin gets away with the two door. Hey, right, bro, everybody, this is the most annoying person. This is the most annoying person in the world right here. Yeah, everybody, he was trying to get me in. Was this an S class? Yeah. He was trying to get me in the S class. I'm like, yo, I'm not ready for that type of. I'm not ready for that life right now. Yeah. It, it might even have a fridge in the, in the middle. In the middle <laughs> Wait. Feels good. Feels real good. I was reading, I was reading, uh, I was listening actually, watching like videos last night. It was like the best option in, in this, for this car is like the manual. I heard this car has fuck you speed also. Yeah, 400 horses. Not as much as my Evo. F yeah. Fuck you takeoff. I was like, not, not, not much as your Evo? Nah. But still. Your Evo take off faster? Of course. I spent a lot of money on it. Damn. You don't want to bring that hoe to LA. How many horsepower is your Evo? Like, uh, it's between uh, 4 and 5, like 450. 450. What's the zero to 60? And and my shit's a lot lighter than yours, so. Oh yeah. My shit is like all aluminum. You know what I mean? It's my my car is like all plastic. Take off. So this is what uh, we're getting rid of right now. This, this the reason. This is the reason, y'all. What's the reason, y'all? Right here is. It's the only reason why you're getting rid of the car. It's the only reason why I'm getting rid of the car. I didn't feel like getting it fixed, so. You know, because because of this man right here, he's like, oh, let's just get you a new one, bro. Let's just get you a new one, bro. We'll take care of it. Yeah, why not? This guy, he takes takes care of everything right here. I'll drive it. Huh? I'll drive it. I'm not. I'm just saying, switch sides, Jeff. The reason why I'm not driving is because I don't have a license. <laughs> show y'all the protein that I get because I only take one protein shake right now and a lot of people be asking so we're going to get that taken care of. So we are here at Get Yoked. Over here? I'll take two of those. Two? Yeah. Do people buy those? Yeah. I mean I buy them too. You buy them? Yeah. I, um, yo, I took regular protein. I think I was taking, I don't know what it was, just some, just some regular protein. Was feeling good for a minute, and then all of a sudden, dude, for three weeks, I was broken out from the, yeah. and, I, and I, was, I was mixing it with the egg white stuff, too. Damn. And I couldn't, I had this huge, like, like a, it's still, oh, it's still kind of there. Damn. Like, I got to get this protein? mark from the protein, yeah. And my, uh, two packs enough. Cool. I'm not taking two packs enough. Get anything? Yeah, we need to get Jeff buff as fuck. <laughs> we gotta grow some hips and legs too. <laughs> Do you eat vegetables and stuff or not? Hell no. That's what that's why I was saying. Really? Bro, you always, you always, you always, you always, so please, so you're, you're, you're saying that Hannah never cooks, she never cooks uh, vegetables. 
like, you like, you, you make yeah. vegetables, you're like, they all right. Yeah. You don't finish it, you don't finish it. You don't finish it. You don't finish it. I'm surprised you stayed in town. No vacay? Vacay for what? I don't know, for all the hard work you do. <laughs> My vacay is every day. So I tell That's people. Nice. back workout in man i just need to do i need to work out something i don't know if you guys know right now but I fucked up my knee so i can't squat i don't know if i don't even know if i can deadlift right now uh my knee is just fucking killing me a stunt i did for the gram for views and shit of course and i finally got somewhere hurt my knee's been swollen for uh, I, I fucked it up yesterday no two days ago so it's still kind of fucked up but i'm trying to get past that all right, so we're gonna get you in shape for your wedding? Yeah. When your wedding? April 18th, 2020. All right, we got April 18, 2020? Yeah. Oh, we got a while. 10 months? Oh, we got a good ass. We got a lot of fat too. Yeah. This is where we starting out right here. I told you, bro, I got somebody down 30 pounds, 30 pounds in like less than less than three months. I should start dancing again. You start dancing again? Oh, yo, everybody, this nigga a dancer. <laughs> Salsa? Latin. Yo, what up, man? So, um, as I'm working out, and y'all watching, I kind of want to talk about the stresses I've kind of have to go through mentally about the industry that I'm in, um, the following that I have. You know, I have over half a million on Instagram, um, almost at 400,000 on YouTube. And when you have a big fan base, certain things are kind of expected from you. And luckily, I have people around me to keep myself level. Um, just because I'm, I'm a spender, I kind of spend don't think sometimes, and I really gotta stop that. And one thing that, one reason why I didn't get a car for the longest is because I wasn't sure if the right thing to do was to, you know, get that car that people expect me to get. You know, where's the the Maserati? Where's the M5? you know, BMW or the big body bins, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. It's just kind of like stressful that you feel like you have to um, pretty much present present these super luxurious things. And you know what? Like you don't, you don't, you know, I know people just want to kind of like showboat and, you know, get their views off of these super expensive things and here and there. I think I did even a video uh, probably my most expensive dinner, which was like $600 at New Certs in New York. I took my girlfriend out uh, there to eat there and years ago. And it's just like, I try to keep myself out of that mindset um, and get away with as much as possible without having to be too overboard. You know, because I know stuff like that gets like views or whatever, like uh, got a new Maserati, got a new Lambo you know those top youtuber guys or people who are um very business oriented and i have a lot going for them and i just show off that kind of lifestyle and i'll admit like it's cool it's cool to see nice cars it's cool to see nice stuff um but it's not necessary you know like i could have got like i told you said in the said like i said in the video i could have been in the s-class bins honestly i don't drive much so it's like I'm not I'm not gonna put myself in that position. Honestly, I don't want a car like that unless I can just pay for it fully. Um, so I don't have to worry about any BS or at least pay half of it off. Um, and I'm not gonna put myself in a position, you know, to to just think about stuff like that. You know, uh, I like what I have now. People will say, oh, it's around. I, I posted a car. I think I'm like. Uh, Instagram stories and when I'm like oh it's a ride I expected you to get like some big truck 
you know, that $300,000 truck, well, I think, I think Bradley got or Dom has. I don't even know much about Dom, but people kept tagging me in it or, or showing it to me or whatever. Um, and I like trucks. I like F-150s, but not for where I live now. I, think, I don't think my garage would fit that. Um, like, I have a wide garage, but I think the, the top of it, of the truck, would probably scrape or something. So, I like speed. I like a nice-looking car. Um, so, I had my car before. I found out it was 2017. Now, I, I like to spoil myself a little bit. I found out it was 2017. I was like, uh, mm, this cool car, but, you know, we can do better. So, I wanted to go with the Red Sport um, in white. Probably get it, like, wrapped in, like, a matte black. Or, um, actually, a matte dark gray. That's what I've been wanting. A matte dark gray, get the windows tinted, maybe. Jeff said it's like a so-so thing to get the windows tinted in um, the car because driving at night could possibly be a problem. So we'll see. Um, I gotta connect with that. Hopefully, it look a lot cooler. I like how it looks now. I actually like the white with the you know black popping out here and there. Possibly add like a fin to it or something. You know, it, it feels like a sports car. Now. My, my last car just felt like a nice car. This one feels like a sports car. I'm very satisfied with it. I like it. Um, and hell, I just like to deck it out, to be honest. It's comfortable. It doesn't really take off. Um, like, 400 horsepower, I think 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. Uh, but you don't, like, feel it. Like, it just smoothly takes off. And Jeff's the one that's, like, he's the clutch man. So he, he he's more um, familiar with using the clutches, the backhand paddles. And I haven't used that yet, but to me, it's just a smooth, just take off, you know, and I like it. It's a very comfortable car, very nice. It's a very nice everyday car. That's what me and Jeff talked about. You know, there's luxury cars where you pull out just like for the weekend or something like that. That's like a Lambo or some shit like that. But this is a really nice everyday car. And, you know, mentally, I've kept myself satisfied with that. And I think that's just all that matters, man. Wherever you're growing and you feel like you have to hang with everybody else and buy super expensive cars and shit, you don't. So I hope this um, message helped you. And uh, catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you on the other side. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Hey, man.